Hello everyone and welcome to a new story video. So, um, today we just have the usual, um, Kepler, Luna, Espa, La Seraphim, and Hypen, and TXT of course. Um, so yeah. I also wanted to say thank you for the feedback on my, um, question from the last video. Um, if you didn't watch my Espa section, I was basically, basically like, um, asking how you guys determine the value of a photo card, like, whether it's like how much it resells for versus like how many um, photo cards you get in that album. I did want to clarify, I wasn't trying to trade for, like, one of those, like, highly sought-after cards. Um, yeah, which I think could be a conversation in and of itself, because, um, especially with the recent Instagram hashtags thing, with the most, like, posts being at the top, the uh, majority of posts that I see, like, have the highly um, sought-after in-demand cards in them. So, um, yeah, that was a little bit of a tangent, but we can get into the video now. So, starting off with Kepler, I'm slowly getting more, um, Hiei cards. I really, really want, um, Her Beloved. Is that what the version is called? The, like, pink one from their most recent comeback? But, yes, I actually have the last card that I needed to complete, um, First Impact. Which, okay. I don't know why I put the pobs in front of these, but we'll fix that later. And then I have one card for Dublas, so... Or the blast. That's just gonna go in there. So yeah. Also, Kai and his magazine. Like I want that so bad, but I don't really know where I would buy it from. So, anyways. Okay, I think I showed this in my last um story video, but um this is my extra Luna cards collect book, and yeah, I definitely showed this. But I did join a group order um for Lucembo album cards, and I claimed enough cards to. Um, complete um, two members um, and the two members that I collect for Lucimo are um, Heiju and Yojin but I just forgot that I already had some of their cards so um, I got some extras from that Go. Uh, I put Go on as my third bias so I have some Go on cards here so yeah um, I have another one of her Dream. This is the Dream version? No. Wish. I totally forgot these version names. I'm not even gonna try. We have this one so I'm technically only missing two cards to complete her standard ones then. Hmm. Maybe I'll just like put up a go on wish list and I can go ahead and try to find trades or something. But honestly, I would like to try to complete um Heiju and um Olivia or Heiju What? Heiju and Yojin's um Ever Music cards first. Um especially because I know those egg ones are gonna be slightly difficult. But that is not all for Luna because I'm actually finishing um sensitive to get today. I still have nothing for Chu. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyone who is collecting how so far, are these Weaver's cards that you can find? Because I'm a little bit scared. Because there are, or these albums are sold out at my um, local-ish K-pop store. Um, but, let's see. Okay, so, these are the other. The symbol and one Luna card. Um things that I have. First, we have the cutest cards from this album, like this one. Oh my god. Yeah, so, um, um, somebody that was doing a lot of group orders for Lucembo Pobs was doing, like, a leftover album cards, like, kind of group order thing, and, um, so I just claimed, like, six of each version, and I was actually number one on the sorting form, which I'm so glad I was, because the sorting form was at a really bad time for me, so I had to hide in the bathroom at my work for, like, probably too long. But it was worth it, because I got first place. So, yes, here is this version complete. Ah! Our first complete page for the symbol. Oh, my God. Okay. And, like I said in my last video, I think I did double side these, so, yeah. All right. So, I didn't pull any Yojins for this version either, so... They're all here now, though. I feel like her cards for this version look a little bit similar. Especially with one of her, um, ever music cards, like this one. <laughs> but, yeah. Then the other two pages that I was missing. Ah! Okay. Now, this version. These two. And then 
pages which i wish all of them had this like um the like spacey background but yeah so there we have it the standard album cards are done unfortunately i'm still missing four of the ever music cards but they're not really high priority right now so i'm just gonna try and see if i could trade for them but if i do see one of the egg cards up for sale i will try to buy it just because i want those so bad <laughs> um yeah so that was it for the symbol things but i did have just um this one and yojin card so she's just gonna go here on the back and also i decided that um i'm not gonna be collecting um can live for odd eye circle solidly anymore i'm sure orbits <laughs> um are definitely financially tired after all the like re-debuts that have been happening so um yeah i, I kind of felt it um when odd eye circle was like the only like part of luna to have re-debuted it was like easy to try to collect these um but now it's just a little bit much so especially because can live isn't like my first bias i just decided to not totally do it, but I'll definitely be like buying their albums and stuff. So, yeah. So next up we have the Seraphim, and we have some very exciting cards today. So, um, we can just go right to Anti Fragile because I'm completing this um iridescent opal version with Kazuha here today. So that's done. And then I can skip all the way to Unforgiven. I'm also completing the Dusty Ember version. Woo! Also, the Mama Awards were yesterday as of filming this, and Anche's performance just amazing. The the tear the tearaway clothes like part just yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Still with Unforgiven, I have this last Kazuha as well. I really like this photo card of hers. Lastly, I have a very exciting card for the QR card page, and we have the cutest Anche in existence. I was so glad I was able to trade for this because this is going for like. 20 bucks on Macari Japan and I was not about to do that so we're just missing Kaza for this and I think besides this unit which like I don't know why I haven't found this yet <laughs> I really don't um aside from that and that unit I would be done for Unforgiven so yeah so lastly for Little Seraphim I just have a card for the um untrace section and it's gonna fill out this Unforgiven page um so I have her target card here so yeah I have a full um three pages of Unforgiven, wow. <laughs> and then now moving on to Espa, I did decide to just move the other girls out and just um, keep Winter in here because she's like my main bias and that's who I want to focus on collecting now and not try to do like so much. Um, yeah, so this is how I reorganized it. Um, I just put the US, oh, US exclusives and this pod down or back here, so yes i don't actually have anything for the normal cards for drama yet but this is going to be very slow going um especially because they're still kind of expensive on my card japan um but yeah we'll focus on that later but i do have her barnes and noble card which i don't plan on really collecting the us exclusive exclusives anymore just because there's four of them and they're not the easiest to get as like they were for this era so yeah, that was it for um this binder. But I also moved um Ive back in here because um Ming Ming Giselle and Karina are out, there was more space, so Wen Young is back and I still don't have anything for um Ive Mine yet. I don't know when I'm gonna work on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is the collect book that I put um my other Espa cards in, and this also has twice in here, so for now we're just gonna ignore them, but I can go ahead and um, flip through this really quick. Just put my Ning Ming cards first because she's my second bias. And then um yeah i do have this one giselle card to put in here so let's go ahead and do that um if i had both giselle and karina's cards for um a particular version i just put them together like this so yes then i can never get rid of this card like i'm so glad i pulled it because oh and this one too oh my god and this just oh i love all these cards so i don't think i'd be like really getting rid of many of them but they're just gonna live in here so okay so i'm gonna be storing my first um sweet venom or orange blood pulls today so yes let's just get into it go all the way back here yes Ooh. <laughs> okay so first of all thoughts on the album amazing sweet venom is like fighting with drunk days as my like second favorite title track like it is so good oh my god 
Um, so I just have one set of album pulls with me here. So um, I did have good Jungwon luck, so I did pull both of his um, cards for the Kasana version. And I did reorganize this a bit since the Weavers version was announced. So I'm going to do like Kasana here, what are the Weavers cards here, and then the Kalpa version at the bottom, and then the same thing um, for the next page. And then I just put all of the Inchkin versions on the same page. So yeah, I don't really know how I feel about the Weavers ones being in the middle. Mm, I don't know. I guess because they're not photo book versions, it would make sense, but I feel like because they're from the concept trailer that came out before the album concepts, they should go at the top. I don't know. It really does not matter that much. But anyways, I am going to be seeing Chu in December and I'm going to go to the cable store in Atlanta and probably buy a bunch of Weavers albums there. So um, I won't have any of these cards for a minute. But yeah, so. Hmm. Okay, right now these Jungwon cards are going to dictate which back goes where so we're gonna put the holograph or foiled the orange back i guess <laughs> um on the bottom here and then this one at the top and i have already started to buy um other photo cards so that's what the empty spots are for um yes and then i guess once again the um this back will go on the bottom so yeah and then for Sunhoon's section, um, it's kind of the same thing. I just put the engine versions like in a row here and then like um, Kasana, Weavers, Kalpa. So um, I did pull his Weavers, or not Weavers. This is crooked. Engine version. So I have these two cards. I'm kind of struggling to find like an OT7 template with the Polaroid stickers um, with it. So if you have one, please send it to me because... I need help. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think um, and Hypen's B-sides have just like progressively gotten better over time. Like, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I think um, Day One has my least favorite B-sides of their entire discography. Like, none of the B-sides of that, of that album would be like top tier. But like everyone since then has just gotten so much better. Like, especially with um, Blind and Still Monster. Like, those two are like top, top tier. <laughs> I don't want to say top five but <laughs> top tier um it's just because this album is so new i can't give official rankings yet okay so you're probably not gonna be able to tell but it's actually been a couple days since um that last part was filmed but moving on um so i did go ahead and buy two of jungwon's um japanese photo cards um just to prove to myself that i was gonna do this and i was going to commit to it so i bought the cheapest ones i could find which are from their second one and i'm not gonna try to pronounce the name of it so yes i think most of these should be um pretty easy to buy except for one of these hakanai cards is like weirdly 30 dollars for some reason i don't know why um yeah i think i'm probably just gonna end up with a couple pops as well because um the japanese pops are um also really cheap but moving on to like random things i do have sungun's target card and i um pulled a dupe of this and i'm really trying to trade for jungwons and i have not found anything yet so it's gonna go with the rest of my jung uh sungun cards here um yeah and then i do have some he songs um four <laughs> um this one i pulled and then um these i um traded for because i'm i i think i'm slowly working towards maybe collecting ot7 just very very slowly um this version goes first so just put them in air order here um but i'm not buying any of his cards or like setting up or anything so yeah and then i do have this one j pool so that was it for in hypen actually and we can move on to txt which is um very exciting okay so we can go right to free fall and this is the stack of album cards that I have today. Um, I'm definitely not completing this. Um, but the reality version is a little bit sad. I was able to trade for this Bungie though. And I'm actually um, basically done with his album photo cards. Again, except one trade just needs to come in the mail. So there's this. Um, then for Melancholy, I'm just missing this one Taehyun. Um, I do have both of Subin's and the other Taehyun. So yes oh someone did point out that they're all holding an umbrella in one set of these so i just put the umbrella set at the top and yeah then these i'm just like 
doing my own sets, I guess. Okay, so there's that. And then for the Clarity version, I just have this one take on. So, yeah. Um, probably the next album cards I'm going to buy is um, these Young Jeans. So, next we're going to be completing the um, A Weavers version. And I totally forgot that, like, the backs um, are, like, sets like that. So, I just reorganized them to be all in the same sets. So, yes. We have the most superior Subin from this era. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna put him here, and then also Yanjin's other card, and then the last Bongyu. So we are done with this version. Our first, well, second actually, because the Gravity version was complete, but the first other version complete for this era. Okay, so for the Bay version, I just have the other Yanjin that I traded for, and I think I have a trade coming in for this one. If I didn't get scammed, I don't know. <laughs> and then I still need to find this one. This is the last um, Weverse card that I'm missing. Um, totally. So, yeah, that was all for the album cards. So, we can just move on to the Bongi binder now. Okay, so I updated the cover to match the arrow. So, this is my Melancholy collage. I definitely had to get the dog in here. So, yes. We just go straight to um, Free Fall Pobs. So, um, let's go. <laughs> This is my Pixie um, Random and Pop. So uh, first up, I have the Weavers Global pre-order benefit. And I just, I'm not organizing these until like I have everything. So yes. And then I have the, um, I have them like kind of in concepts in my pile here, but yeah. Um, so I have the two like back for more outfit things. So the MTU broadcast, or MTU Lucky Draw. And then the broadcast. So yes. And then I have the other um, showcase card. Who was the one to make the decision that this was the gravity one and this was the normal album one? Like, that doesn't make sense. Um, and then we have this one, which is the... What is this? No, this is Soundwave. This is NTU. I was wrong. I'm sorry. And then we have the CU Benefit, which is super, super cute. Um, a little bit expensive, but yeah. And then I have the um, Weavers album reverse card so yeah um i did put the concepts after the selfies so um yeah and then i do have i forgot what this is something weavers and then the um gravity ums okay so i do have a couple um dupe album cards already i'm trying to trade for the, trade these for um things that i'm missing but I don't know. I just have not had the best time trading recently, but yes. A lot of these um concept pops I'm having a hard time finding. Um I'm in two group orders for Dear My Muse round one. I'm in one for the Soundwave round two. Um EGU round one just came out. Um yeah, I do have some more things on the way. I have the Yeti Mall, which is oh my god, <laughs> the most superior Bongi photo card, like I think ever. Like the only thing that I could critique about it is the plain white background. But, like, that is such a beautiful card. And I will have it in the next video. Um, I might buy more. <laughs> um, yeah. So, some of these, I think, are, like, a cow talk. Like, I was really waiting for the prices to go down. But they're kind of just disappearing. And the prices are not going down. Um, I think, I don't know why, but things this era are just, like, not super easy to find on Mercar Japan. But, yeah, we will make it through somehow. Uh, I know there was the um, EG round three that was announced. I didn't put that in here. I'm just kind of like done setting up for things because I will get things when I get them at this point. Like, I'm just kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, but I do have, what is this? Oh, I don't know what this is for, but for my OZ5 sets, I do have um, one on one more on the way. And then the Weverse Gravity, um, Weverse Japan Gravity ones. So these are very hollow. Yes, yeah, so we'll just put these away. And yesterday was their, like, encore concert. And, oh my god, just, Bongi's outfit for soundcheck, that was so the best, the best, yes. And Taehyung, during Good Boy Gone Bad, the high note, oh my god, I hope they keep that in there. Because, like, they, they have to bring the Good Boy Gone Bad high note to America. Like, they have to. Because they said world tour soon. Like, 
win is soon also but oh my god um also their mama performance yeah the camera work was oh my god i just hate that like for um k-pop award shows you have to like wait for the dance practice to come out to like actually appreciate the performance and like the award show is just kind of more for like special effects and outfits it's kind of how i see it but yeah that's unfortunate anyways i'm kind of running out of breath um <laughs> moving on to the um random section i did pull um Subin's Weverse album, uh, Weverse, <laughs> Weverse album, Weverse card in my group order. So, or not my group order, the group order I joined. Excuse me. Um, yes. And I have another one of, or some more Bongi dupes. So, um, I have five of this Nightmare card. I don't know how it happened. I got one for free. So, um, yeah, they're just gonna chill here. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then one more dupe. And then, okay, okay, and then these two um, Kai cards, so yes. This section really confuses me because it's just, it's just kind of a mess. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing OT5 for this set and this set, so I think I'm just missing two members for this one and one for the last, this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to move on to the Yanjun binder now. So, I do have just a couple of things to go in here. Um, I'm starting a new page, and I have these two Yanjun cards from the reality concept. Um, yeah, this binder is just super random and just super whatever I get, I guess. So, there's that. And they're kind of facing inward, so that's kind of cute. And then lastly, I have this um, Dupe Weavers version, so it's going to go on this like even more random page. And then, for my little take-on section... Um, I have this, but I'm not really sure where it... Hmm. Well, he's gonna go on the back here with this other unit, so we'll figure out what to do with these later. I think I might set up another red page, because I feel like that would be the color that, like, fits these the best out of the ones that I have, or... I don't know, but I do have two of his Weaver's Pops, so... Yeah, if I got a dupe, um... A dupe, a gravity card... Well, this is already a dupe. If I got a third gravity card, it would perfectly fill out this page and be super duper cute. <gasps> if I got the helmet one, <gasps> oh my god, that would be amazing. This would look so good. Okay, new agenda. Fine, Tian's helmet card. Okay, um, so that was everything for this video. So thanks for watching and bye.